volunteers meet at the Carpenter Center in Manchester, ready to roll up their sleeves, pack up, and ship out more than 400 hot meals on wheels. Okay, we're off. Gertrude's house. Hillary Myers may be a familiar face around town due to her son Seth's late night television popularity, but to her Meals on Wheels clients, she and fellow volunteer Betsy Heald are the friendly faces that bring food and conversation right around noon each day. Okay. okay. No matter how they get there, these ladies care deeply for the people on their route. All right, I'll just take it out. Yeah, right right chicken Marsala today, one of our faves. Oh, Gertrude doesn't like those green beans, though. She doesn't? Nope. Hi, Gertrude. All dressed up, look how pretty you look. Pink and gray, perfect, <laughs> perfect. You have company. <laughs> Good to see you. Gertrude is 97 years old and a cancer survivor. She no longer drives, and so getting out to get food is a real challenge. So feeling good? You look beautiful today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they can tell us what's going on, how they feel, yeah. and you help a little bit. Yeah. Can you show me how to fix my iPad? Sure. <laughs> change the clocks when the time changes. Change the clocks. I had to climb out on a stove and change our clocks. <laughs> the clicker. Uh, could yeah, you find clicker, my clicker? And, my phone. Uh, my my phone. Why isn't my phone <laughs> answering? A lot of people intuitively understand that Meals on Wheels is bringing food to people who can no longer obtain or prepare enough um, adequate nutritious food. Um, what a lot of people do not understand is that for, um, for most of the people, the only person they're going to see that day is the Meals on Wheels driver. Megan Brady is the president of St. Joseph Community Services, and she says the delivery of the food is just the beginning of what the Meals on Wheels customers get when they sign up for services. Um, the daily visit is very important. We also bring out a lot of education and, and information and, and uh, about other available services and other things that they can do to improve their self-sufficiency and, uh, and their health. John Barron heads up the Manchester and Bedford Meals on Wheels operation. He came to the program after retiring from UPS. So the 27 delivery routes he oversees each day are familiar territory to him. I'm very proud to say that uh, I make it a point to, to make sure that I can put a, a face with a name. A typical client will receive a, a hot meal a day, and this is a nutritious meal put together by our licensed kitchen and our dietitian and our staff. So it has to meet guidelines um, that are pretty strict, so they're getting roughly one-third of their daily requirements, okay? And along with that, um, a nice smile, a well-being check. The population being served by this program are typically homebound and over the age of 60. I've dedicated most of my professional life to, to working for the betterment of the older adults in our community, that they're not very visible in the community. And so we do like to be out there reminding folks of the need. Nice to see you. Yes. Oh, what yes. a lovely place you have here. Oh, How are you? Look at your beautiful sofa. I'm Betsy. Hi. How are you? Hillary, I heard you took a tumble, huh? You okay? Okay, we got chicken marsala here today. Is that one of your favorites? Yeah. Yeah, I think that is good. It is a good one. And yummy little roasted potatoes and good vegetables for your muscles, right? <laughs> Bob and his wife, Bev, have been getting meal deliveries for about a year now. Perfect. When you get to be our age, you know, it's more difficult to try and get a meal. And to be able to have this, it makes it very, very convenient. When you ask these volunteers why they do what they do, the simple answer is they like to help. But when you spell out all the benefits these meals give to both those who receive and those who give them, you could fill an entire Thanksgiving table. I think the most rewarding part is getting to know the clients and truly how they feel by the feedback they give us 
um, the value that they put on uh, a meal delivery and a smile, and just someone being there for them on a daily basis. That, that's probably the most rewarding part. The smiles on people's faces when you walk in the door. <laughs> Take care. Bye, Mom. Bye, Beth. Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Yes, Thank we will. You. We always do. Right, Bets? Yes. <laughs>